Hello everyone, welcome to episode 32 of Reconstructing Cave Story. Um, in this episode we're going to be solving, it's going to be a pretty short episode, but we're just going to be solving this problem where our gun is, um, I'll show you, our gun is going downwards even when it should be horizontal. So we have this problem right now of our intended vertical facing, which is like when we're pressing the down key, we're intending to look down, but, or interact but in some cases we're not actually looking down so we have this discrepancy between intended vertical facing and actual vertical facing so we're going to just uh, add an extra function here i'll show you our notes we're going to change vertical facing as it is now to intended vertical facing and then just introduce this new vertical facing and then just check to see if we're on ground and if we are then return horizontal if we're trying to face downwards, otherwise just return the regular intended vertical facing so that we can fix this whole discrepancy between vertical facing, actual vertical facing and intended vertical facing. So this is going to be a short episode again, and we're going to use the vertical facing, the actual vertical facing when we pass it to the guns draw method, and we can also use it to clean up our initialized sprite. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll start by opening up player.h and changing the name of it to vertical facing and then finding all instances, or changing it to intended vertical facing and then finding all instances in player.cc as well. So let's intended or vertical facing. All right, so let's see if we can find all references that might help or it might not, whatever. I'll just do it <clears throat> the good old fashioned Vim way. Sorry. Intended vertical facing, open up player.cc and just change all these to intended vertical facing. And that was it. Okay, so sweet. Now let's make our vertical facing method. And like I said, this is just going to, um, if we're on the ground and we are looking down, then we're just gonna change it to horizontal. Otherwise, we'll just return the actual vertical facing. So let's call this vertical facing, just below our on ground method, vertical facing, const, and just say, return if we're on ground, and looking down, so ver intended vertical facing is down, then we want to return horizontal. Otherwise, we'll just return the intended vertical facing. And that's stretching out to the end, so I'll just bring this stuff, just reorganize it a little bit so that you guys can see it. All right, so that's our vertical facing and we were gonna use it, passing it to the guns draw method and that was gonna fix our bug, but also use it in our git sprite state here. So I'll do the git sprite state in a minute, but for now I'll do the guns draw method. Instead of intended vertical facing, we'll do vertical facing method. So let's build and run and make sure that this is fixing our bug. bring it over and we can see that we are able to look down let's do our jump and go into our down state I'm holding down this entire time so yeah it all looks good I'm happy with it so that's fixed now let's um, clean up our sprite state or initialize sprites so I'll go down to get sprite state and change it to vertical facing instead of intended vertical facing so that's here in get sprite state and then here in initialize sprites, or initialize sprite singular, where are you going? All right, so down here, we have this weird if case for uh, tile down. We don't need to actually worry about this anymore because if we're on the ground and walking, we don't have to worry if 
we don't have to worry about um, that ever being down because now we're using our actual vertical facing. So let's move this up here to where we are defining our other tile X and then just switch this tile X to a switch statement. So I'll just get rid of that and you can just follow along. So switch sprite state dot vertical facing and we'll just say case horizontal, we don't do anything. Case up, we set tile X to be, we add right here, we add K up frame offset to tile X. So let's do tile X plus equals K up frame offset. And then finally case down, we'll just set tile X to be K down frame. break out of that and then just put in our default case of nothing and we can get rid of this so this kind of cleans up that logic a bit we don't have to do that check to see if we're jumping or falling anymore which I think is pretty nice personally and I wasn't expecting that when I first did this but let's just make sure everything's all working right still and it is so I'm very happy and that is the end of this episode so thanks for watching guys and happy developing